Good morning, Cypress Village residents. This is Ty Morgan, Executive Director, and welcome to Virtual Coffee Chat. Today is Friday, September 20th. We are really moving through September quickly. Uh, good to be back. I've got several updates myself, but again, thank you all for tuning in today. We have a lot of information we want to share with the villagers, and uh, I will be back to cap it off. But again, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon. All right. Good morning, villagers. I am Lisa Drew, and I am your Community Life Services Director. And here's what's happening in the coming week. So tomorrow is the Mahjong Madness Tournament. Um, Judy Emmett, who is organizing the event and taking the RSVP, said there's been a really great response. So it's going to be a good um, event, but there may still be room. If you are interested in um, playing Mahjong in the tournament, get in touch with Judy Emmett. If you need to figure out how to get in touch with her, come by the office. We can give you the information. Um, it's only $5 to enter. There's snacks, there's money prizes, there's some other prizes. So it's going to be a fun time. So that's Saturday, tomorrow, the 21st from 2 to 4. And then next week, um, on Monday, we have some representatives from a, an organization called Five Star Vets. It is a support group for veterans in the area and their families. Um, they assist with all kinds of needs, um, um, emergency housing, um, counseling, referrals for outpatient therapy. Um, it sounds like it's a really um, great service for vets um, in the area. So they're going to come in and talk to you about what they do, but they're also going to talk to you about volunteer opportunities, if any of you might be interested in helping them in their mission, helping local area vets. So that's Monday. On Tuesday, um, we have the second AARP Safe Driver class. I think there are a couple of spots left for that. You can call the office to find out. Um, those are all the people from the wait list from the last um, session are definitely on. And then um, we had space for a few more. So if you want to go, um, call the office. On the 25th, that is our trip to Mocha to see the Stella installation. Um, he did that for the MOCA here, and then sadly, not long after, um, he passed away. So this would be your last chance to see an original Frank Stella um, installation. And if you've ever seen those atrium installations at MOCA, they really are spectacular. So hopefully you're going to join us for that. Then on um, Thursday, we have our speaker series, um, a local author, researcher, historian named Jack Burke, who is also um, an amateur uh, space researcher. He is going to do a presentation called, Is There Anybody Out There? And he's going to be talking to you about the possibility of extraterrestrial life um, maybe there's other Cypress villages out there in the universe that you can find out about. Um, and then on Friday, it's the second Learn Spanish with Lester class. Um, I heard the first class went great. Hopefully all of you who went are going to come back for class two. Um, I'm really glad you're enjoying it. I know that Lester is. So, um... I expect to be oblying Espanol with you all soon. All right, then a couple of reminders. Um, on October 8th, it's our annual Fall Fest. It's going to be really great this year. We are adding a beer garden that will be featuring um, seasonal craft beers. It is October, so in the Oktoberfest spirit of things. 
um, will be doing um, craft beers and um, brats or some other kind of German type of um, sausage to go with those. And then we'll have all the usual vendors and games, um, pumpkins and food and live music. It's going to be really fun. The weather is supposed to be beautiful. And then on October 1st, which is before that, um, we have the kickoff to the Employee Appreciation Fund. This is your chance to thank all of the hardworking staff who do so much for you around the um, building. And you do that by donating generously to the Employee Appreciation Fund. I personally do not participate in the fund, so I am perfectly comfortable asking you to give, give, give. Our hardworking employees really deserve that um, important bonus that comes to them at Christmas time. So there is going to be a kickoff event at the Boathouse on August 1st, hosted by Rack, and Louise Fontecchio will tell you a little bit more about it. So have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you around the village. Good morning, everybody. I'm Louise Fontecchio, and I hope by now that you know I am the president of your resident advisory council. And I'm here to tell you about what I believe is going to be a fun and exciting event. Mark your calendars for October the 1st from 3 to 5 p.m. On that date, your resident advisory council, with the help and support of our wonderful management team here, are planning and hosting a kickoff cookout for our Employee Appreciation Fund. It's going to be a great fun day. We're going to have games. The putting people will be there to show you what they do if you're interested. The bocce people, the croquet club. We're going to have cornhole. We're going to have music. And most important, our very own Tyler Ramos has promised that he will be there cooking hamburgers and hot dogs for everybody. It's a free event open to all of our residents. And the only thing we ask you to bring with you is your enthusiasm and love for this lovely place, this beautiful place we live, and a grateful heart for all of those employees that make it possible. So come enjoy the day, have fun with us, and get excited about the contribution that begins October 1st to our Employee Appreciation Fund. Thank you, and see you October 1st. All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Coffee Chat. Uh, just wanted to get back from vacation, so thank you very much for the well wishes. Uh, first off, Tree Amigos, there'll be a lot in the weekly update this week, so check it out. They are obviously behind in their mowing. They're trying to catch up on their detailing, uh, edging, and weed whacking, and uh, uh, cutting the bushes and whatnot, but uh, we don't really want them running the mowers as much because they'll put serious ruts in the yard. So uh, where I live at Sawgrass, precision turf went through in the common areas on Monday morning and tore up the grass in the main entry. It looks so bad. So I've told Tree Amigos if there's any question just to hold off right now until we get some more dry weather. But check out the weekly update for all the other uh, updates from Ray. Uh, secondly is the green roof and everything that's been going on. Um, so here's the whole scoop. The general contractor called and had a roofing company scheduled. That roofing company, unbeknownst to anybody, subcontracted the work to another roofer who really didn't know what they were doing, obviously. So they tore off three quarters of the roof, put half of it back on, and then when it started raining, they put a tarp over it. And that's how they left us. So we're scrambling, scrambling. Thank you to Robert and Josh and uh, Jeremiah, Brandon, Michael Apostle, Mike M. They were the guys that were up on the roof taking all that stuff down last week. They did a fantastic job. Um, I couldn't appreciate it more. So next, we've now fired everybody. And now corporate is rebidding the roof between two contractors, the one who put the temporary roof on, which has now sealed the kitchen, and I'm sure you'll be getting updates on cooking from dining. Uh, so the kitchen is not leaking anymore, 
And so we're now taking the bids, and once they uh, get their bids in, which will take a week or two, they'll pick one of the two contractors, either the one that did the healthcare roof or the one who did the temporary roof. And so it's probably going to be about a month before you see any more real activity out there. But if you have any other questions, you can always get with me or ask me them straight in person, and uh, I'll fill you in. Otherwise, have a great day. Good morning, Cypress Village. It is Katie Amador, your executive assistant, here with an important reminder about our upcoming bake sale, fundraiser bake sale, benefiting the Alzheimer's Association. This will take place on October 8th at the Fall Festival. So if you're planning to attend, stop by our booth and buy some sweet treats. Um, and whether you're are planning to attend or not, we invite you and encourage you and are asking you to take part in our bake sale benefiting the Alzheimer's Association. We've tried to make it as simple as possible. We are asking all of our village bakers to bake some sweet treats. So whether that be cookies, cupcakes, a cake, cinnamon rolls, whatever you're interested in baking, um, and drop those off at the business office on the day of the fall festival. So that is October 8th. We're looking at drop-offs anytime before 12 p.m., but we can be flexible. Um, and then if you are interested in participating, just shoot me an email or give me a call so I can have an idea of what you're making. Um, and we are happy to package those items for you. So if you bake cookies or cupcakes, we will individually package those, sell them, and all of the money that we um, collect there at the bake sale will go directly towards our Alzheimer's Association campaign. So please consider participating. And I can't wait to buy all of your treats. Thank you. Hello, Cypress Village. This is Laurel Mundell, your Director of Administrative Services. I have been all over this campus for the last couple days doing community-wide photo shoots. So I've gotten to see many friendly faces, which was oh, the, one of the benefits of running around so much in all levels of care. And I wanted to give a special shout out to my models on Wednesday. We had our fitness crew in the techno gym working out. We had the OMR in the OMR. We had Deb's fitness class working out, the aquasizers in the gym. We had some folks coming out to dinner with us. Some of the food was edible, some of it was just pretty, <laughs> and so I appreciate all of you so much. I cannot wait to see how these pictures all turn out. And then for those of you who saw us running around with the camera, just so you know, this isn't anything special, so to speak, like it's not going to be on any one particular thing. We're just going to have these photos so that in the future on the website or any kind of collateral material, we have our own residents swimming in the pool, not, you know, stock photos of residents in the pool, things along those lines. And then also, since we have done so much work with um, changing out the carpeting and the furniture in a few different areas, we wanted to make sure we had updated photos of those areas. And I really wanted to focus on our higher levels of care as well, assisted living, memory care, and our skilled nursing facility. We have done some really great renovations in those areas and really just wanted to make sure we had the photos to show how much those areas shine now. And um, so now we've got them and I can't wait to get the footage back and see what all what all took place and what all all the artistry that happened with the photographers we were working with. So thank you all for um, helping out for those of you who helped out or for those of you who I had to scoot out of the way on photo on the other photo shoot day. Thanks for your participation in whatever way that looked like. I have just a very quick security um, update or rather reminder. So if for any of our exterior doors, please make sure you are not propping them open with anything. And in fact, if you are walking through the door and you see somebody has propped it open or has something stuck in it, you can go ahead and take it out. And then if it's um, a recurring issue for a particular area, or if you know who's doing it by chance, feel free to just anonymously report that to security so that we can address that. Um, it's not only a safety concern, but we just want to make sure that the door hardware isn't damaged in any way, um, not, not being able to lock properly. So that's going to help us out on two accounts. And um, so just don't prop any doors open, please. And then um, on this coming Tuesday, for our newest villagers out there, we are having our first new resident orientation that is called Intro to the Village. We're going to do a new style, a new format. And we're going to meet at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, September 24th in the Marsh Media Lounge. 
Now, any resident who has moved in, I believe it was June on until now, you have all received an invite in your in-house mailbox or mail kiosk tube and a phone call from Nancy to Candace. So um, if you are, if you did not receive an invite and you still feel like you would benefit from an overview of our community and a better introduction or integration, please feel free to come. We would love to have you. And again, that's Tuesday at 10 a.m. in the Marsh Media Lounge. And then neighbors and friends, if you have anybody who is on your floor or in your unit in the houses that you know would benefit, please encourage them to come. Chances are they've already received an invite, but it would be very beneficial for them to get in front of us. We'll review the guide, and then we'll make sure they put faces with names and get any of their uh, questions answered and any of their concerns taken care of. So thank you all for that. And then lastly, so I wanted to give an update on our Alzheimer's fundraiser so far. Keep in mind that our grand total, our goal for this year is the same as it was last year, $20,000 for the Alzheimer's Association. And we are currently sitting at $2,660. So great job so far. We've got $2,660. Uh, we are going to continue fundraising, I believe, until our walk, which is November 8th at the community and then November 9th at the UNF campus. And for those of you who like going on the fun fit outings with Deb Gowen, she is actually going to make her quarterly fun fit outing at the walk to end Alzheimer's at UNF. So that's a fun way you can participate at the community on Friday and at UNF if you so desire, which is so fun because there's so many people there. Um, but in the meantime, please bring in those donations. Um, make any checks out to the Alzheimer's Association and drop them off at the business office or if the concierge desk is closer or, or more convenient, that's totally fine. And I want to let you know um, a minimum donation of $50 will get you a, com a community shirt from us. And then a donation of $250 or more. The first 20 people who donate $250 or more will get a seat in our gourmet dinner that we're hosting with our new executive chef and team. That'll be sometime in November. The date is to be determined. But we're going to have a five-course gourmet dinner with wine pairings, the works, all of that. And we want to make it exclusive for our first 20 $250 or, dollar or more donors. So please, please, please bring in that money, bring in those donations for our Alzheimer's Appreciation or our Alzheimer's Association Fund, and we'll be good to go. We're going to be so much closer to our $20,000 goal. Thank you so much for your time, and I will see you around the village. Good morning, Cypress Village, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Chat. Lester Ruiz here, Director of Environmental Services, and your new Spanish class instructor. I'm very excited about the Spanish class. Um, we had our first one last Friday. Um, today we're going to take a little break to try to get all the information together so that I can put what I think is going to work best for all residents. Um, trying to put something together that you all going to benefit off um, and, 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 you know, take whatever I can give you and utilize it. You know, I know a lot of you want to go traveling, go visit South America. Um, around the community a lot of you want to be very helpful so i want to be able to give you guys the tools that you need to be able to you know get through all those conversations um with spanish-speaking folks um for those of you that still want to join the spanish class please please stop by my office shoot me an email i want to get another list in the second class if, if we need to. i want to be able for everybody who is interested to come in and join our class. So we have to do two different sessions on a Friday or two different days a week so that you all can come join. I would love to do that. Right now we're at full capacity on the first class, so unfortunately I can't take any more sign up. But if we get enough, I would love to open a second class. So if I get at least 10 more people, we'll open a class for sure. Um, please spread the word. Let's let's get going. To me, the more the merrier. Um, I I enjoy this. I love this. Um, I enjoy doing the word of the week all this time. It was it was so awesome. You guys in the whole ways being so encouraging, so supporting. Um, just pretty much having fun with it, and that's what I want to do. You know, I want I want all of us to have a great time and to be able to to enjoy this. Um, I'm gonna leave it right there. We're gonna be sending out updates soon about cleaning floors um so look for that in the next week or so 
Um, we're also going to be sending out a letter very soon talking about housekeeping schedules. Um, and going from there, we want to make sure that, again, we have a lot of people moving in, people moving out. So we want to make sure that the housekeeper is being um, proactive and being able to stay in an area and take care of the residents, okay? Um, anyways, uh, as soon as I get more for you all, we'll, we'll go from there. Have a good weekend and see you around the village. Good morning, everybody. This is Tyler with Dining Services. Uh, you know, it looks like we're getting out of the woods. Um, we have the Loon's Nest opening up today, and the rest of dining will kind of stick with the service style that we've been doing through the weekend. Monday, we should be back to a regular dining service uh, for everything, as far as Lakeside goes, Middleton's, and Loon's Nest. So be ready for that. Um, through the weekend, we have Friday night. We plan to have the Loon's Nest open again for the Loon's Nest happy hour and entertainment later on after food service stops. Uh, Sunday, we have the Jaguars happy hour, NFL happy hour, where your NFL pride, any type of team that may be, come down, get some happy hour pricing for that. And, and then uh, the other thing is, the, we want to, I want to take time to appreciate the kitchen, the back of the house, you know, they're very rarely ever seen, but the dining department would completely fail without them. Uh, they are what, they keep us alive. If this was a game, they're the ones that keep us from losing. So I wanted to say thank you. I know that they appreciate the patience that you've had with us. And uh, because of that, there, there's a few of them that have some things to say. So uh, stick around to see those as well. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chef Ken. Um, been here two months now. Um, it's a very unique and wonderful place to work for. It's a lot of uh, different aspects that we're doing here. I'm working with Li uh, Lily here, the banquet. She's uh, amazing getting her stuff set up. Um, I've been a banquet chef for 30 some years and she's probably one of the most organized persons I've worked with in the past. And uh, that says a lot, so. Um, uh, she makes my job easy and I hope I make her job easy. Oh, hello, my name is Lily. Uh, most of you, I think, uh, know me. Um, I am very happy that Chef Ken is here and the whole dining team. Um, they really have made a difference in banquets for me. They, they are making everything easier, easier for me. They really help me with everything I need. Considering all the challenges that we have been through, especially the kitchen, um, it's amazing, amazing what they have accomplished and, and still are accomplishing. Thank you, thank you so much for all you guys do. Thank you, Ken. <laughs> yes, my name is Ahmad Sharako. I'm a, a breakfast maker every day, Monday through Friday, 8 to 10. And I like, um, I like to say, Thank you for all your patience for that five couple five days we have a problem in the kitchen and we are we are going to be a normal day and a, tomorrow is a, a breakfast ready for everyone. Woo! Okay. Maria, will you wave? Will you wave? Just wave. You look beautiful. Oh, I'm hot. Yes, you are. All right. Good morning, residents. This is Jay, one of the cooks here. Thank y'all for being patient with us this past couple weeks. We're getting back running soon and everything will be up in tip top shape. Thank y'all. Hi guys, my name is Esther, but I go by Essie. Um, thank you guys so much for being patient with us, um, with everything that's been going on. And we can't wait to go back to normal to serve you guys, so. Good morning, villagers. Ashley Miller here, your Director of Resident Services. I hope you all have had a wonderful week this week. And a couple updates from your wellness center. Our next breakfast and BPs will be today after coffee chat from 10.30 to 12 in the wellness center. Our breakfast will be sponsored by Cypress Village Dental and Patty, our nurse from IHS, will be taking blood pressures. Mobility Repair Clinic will be back on Tuesday, September 24th from 10 to 12 p.m. in Veterans Lobby. If you'd like to make an appointment, please call 807-6221. And Life Transitions Group will also be meeting again on Tuesday, September 24th 
at 2 p.m. in B3. Our next Stay Vibrant lecture will also be on Tuesday, September 24th, busy day that day, at 2.30 in the OMR. Join Deb Goyne and Erin Watkins as they present on the history and functionality of our brand new Technogym equipment located in our brand new fitness center, D145. Directly after, Deb will be guiding us through a oneness meditation starting at 315. And Guardian Pharmacy will be back in the Wellness Center on September 25th from 9 till 12 p.m. And the medication cycle pickup will be for Tower A in the houses. And Madison, Danny, and our outpatient therapy team, Health Pro Heritage, are very excited about our next Wellness Wednesday adventure. We'll be meeting on September 25th at 9 a.m. in the main lobby. And we'll be taking you on a nice guided nature walk and stretch around the lake. We'll have a few exercise stations to get your blood flowing, along with some opportunities to pause and take in and connect with the great outdoors. We'll have a little pit stop at the boathouse for some light breakfast fare before we conquer the other side of the lake. So looking forward to seeing you all there Wednesday, September 25th at 9 a.m. in the main lobby. And lastly, Low Vision Support Group will be meeting on Thursday, September 26th at 10 a.m. in the IBIS room. And for our daily dose of wellness, I'd like to read a little excerpt from our The Little Frog's Guide to Self-Care. Try to find something that you love and look forward to in each season. The way that the air smells in autumn or how the winter months give us the opportunity to cozy up and go inward. The way that every spring feels like the world is waking up from a deep sleep or how summer is always so vibrant and full of life. Finding ways to embrace each of the seasons gives, gives you something to feel good about at any time of year, even if it's small. I hope you all have a blessed weekend and I will see you around the village. I'll see you soon. All right, I'm back and uh, I just wanted to say I'm glad to be back. Last week, obviously, uh, we were not here for all the excitement relative to the weather and the roof failure, but I am very pleased and proud of the team that was here on site. They did a great job. It was painful to be away from the village during uh, such a uh, major event, but uh, very proud of the team. And thank you for your patience and understanding based on the severity of what uh, actually occurred. Uh, Dave, a little earlier, had uh, given you some, some details on that. It was not a controllable event by Cypress Village, but uh, nonetheless, uh, the team responded very well. We put actions and resolutions in place to make sure that our residents' needs were met, and uh, we expect to be back to uh, full operation by the end of this week, if not today. So uh, more to come on that, but again, um, it was a big week, and we're through it, and we're going to come out stronger on the other side, just like we always do when we have significant adversity. So uh, um, I'll move on from that. But uh, one, one area we want to start sharing with residents as well on a monthly basis is our employee service awards. So every month we recognize uh, a group of employees that have service anniversaries, whether it's one, two, five, 10, 20 years. Um, as well as the Employee of the Month, which you all are, are uh, made aware of at community meeting each month. So Katie and I were talking, and moving forward after today, we're going to share some of those service awards with you as well, so you know how long some of the employees that you see on a daily basis have worked for Cypress Village. So we thought that would be a nice little add to, uh, to Coffee Chat each week.
Right now, we are working also on a kickoff event with the Employee Appreciation Fund, which handles the Christmas gift to our employees, as well as the Resident Advisory Council. Um, between the two groups, they had discussed um, trying to do a fundraising fun event, uh, kickoff event, so to speak. So on October 1st, uh, more, more information to come between now and then. We are going to have a... It's called the Kickoff Cookout at the Boathouse, and uh, we're expecting nice weather. We're hoping for nice weather. But uh, just a good time getting a lot of residents together, enjoying each other's uh, socialization, and uh, just getting together and hopefully enjoying some outdoor time and some fresh air. So mark your calendar for October 1st, but more information is going to be coming, forthcoming. On Wednesday of this week, this past week, we had our very own Sarah Ninya, Associate Executive Director. She gave a presentation to our residents on our financial results for Q2. Uh, she did a great job as usual. We had a pretty full house in the Marsh Media Lounge, so appreciate all the residents that were in attendance. Um, the uh, presentation, as usual, was very, very uh, articulate and very easy to understand. Sarah does a really good job with that, and uh, most importantly, the village con continues to be in a very strong financial position. So, great job, Sarah, mm -hmm. and thanks for residents for joining. We also had on Tuesday night, we had our family night for our Southern Pines residents, which is our memory care neighborhood. We had a lovely event up on the fifth floor. It was... Uh, it was a bunch of families all dressed up. I think it was the Roaring Twenties, don't misquote me, but uh, everybody was dressed up in beautiful gowns. Harlequin, I think it was called. Uh, uh, don't ask me what all the names of those uh, fancy dresses and hats are, but everybody looked wonderful. We had a great family turnout. Staff had a wonderful time. It was just a really, really nice family event, and we do that quarterly. Excuse me, a couple resident shout outs this week or resident recognition. The first of which I wanted to uh, call out for this actually happened in Southern Pines again, our memory care neighborhood. Uh, Ned Sudgens, tough name to uh, pronounce on the, on the back end, but him, Gina Peroni, and some volunteers from the local VFW actually did a Patriot Day celebration, not celebration, but uh, commemoration, I should say, in regards to the events of 9-11 back in 2001. So that was really, really uh, thoughtful of them and uh, just great outreach. So thank you both for, uh, and whoever else may have been involved, but I know you two were uh, very involved in that. So thanks, Gina and Ned. And also we had the Autumn Reefs craft class, that's a tough one to say, which was, uh, I think, hosted by Judy Pate and Pat Denise, and I heard that was uh, very well received, and uh, residents enjoyed that opportunity, so. So, um, congratulations, and thank you to all the residents uh, recognized this week. One other recognition, uh, some, of re some of our residents may or may not know Buster or Arthur Buster Browning. He is actually our medical director in the healthcare center and been, been so since before I've been here, but it's been at least 20 plus years. Uh, he had one of the largest family practices here in Jacksonville for numerous years. He was just honored um, at a very big fundraiser at San Jose Country Club as an honorary member of the First Tee, which is a fundraising um, foundation that really focuses in on golf and the underserved and helping them with either lessons, equipment, opportunities to play, just a variety of uh, areas to really help kids who are um, not as fortunate to be able to play golf, but to give them the opportunities to do so. It was a, it was a great outing. And uh, Buster, congratulations, and thank you for allowing Stephanie, Stephanie and I to be part of that. So a lot of shout outs this week. And again, a new ad for this coffee chat, and I think it'll be ongoing. Uh, 
My understanding is the trivia group wants us to start announcing the trivia winners per week. Uh, I don't know what this is going to uh, uh, cascade into, but I'm going to do it. And the winner of the trivia the last week was Team Who Knows. I couldn't find it on my notes. I apologize. But Team Who Knows are the current reigning trivia champions here at Cypress Village. So congratulations to them. Um, they're going to be defending their title, I think, this week. So uh, we'll see what happens next week. But we'll keep it fun, and we will uh, keep everybody updated on that. All right, and that's going to conclude all the news. Now on to birthday wishes. I'm going to start on the 19th, and we have one birthday boy, and he is Mr. Ian Abarbanel. Ian, I think we got to you last week as well, but again, happy birthday on the 19th. We have one birthday gal this week, and I don't think she even lives here yet, but she bought a house here. Her name is Gloria Wintro. Gloria, happy birthday to you. On the 21st, we have a handful. We have Miss Ethel Wilson, Margie Herklotz, Frosty Roberts, Tom Keith, and Chuck Lynch. Great group of uh, residents there. Happy birthday to all of you on the 21st. On the 23rd, we have Mr. Ed Hubel, Herb Cork, Nancy Jun, Sue Ellen, Sue Ellen Pinkerton, and Becky Cameron. Wow, a lot of residents on the 23rd as well, so happy birthday to you all. On the 24th, we've got Miss Ingrid Prosser. Ingrid, happy birthday to you. And Miss Emily Beckham. Emily, happy birthday. On the 25th, we've got Mr. Robert Zellers, Claudia Dixon, and my longtime buddy, Mr. Mike Boot. Happy birthday to you. I'm going to cap it off on the 26th with one birthday gal, and her name is Sarah Lee. Sarah, happy birthday on the 26th to you as well. Residents, that's going to cap off another virtual coffee chat. Again, thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day. God bless. Take care.